Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about files concept. So in this video I am going to discuss about file creation, file opening and file closing. So generally file is a collection of information. Okay, so information in the sense records. Okay, so of every file will save it with a particular name, unique name. Okay. So by using files concepts in C language, we can store output data. Okay. We can write data into the files or we can read the data from the files. Okay. Or the secondary storage devices permanently and we can access, we can read information from a file. So normally, Files are used to store the data, store the information in a secondary storage devices permanently. So if you want to write the data into the files, you can. And if you want to read the data from the files, you can. Okay. So you can read and write the data into the files. Okay. So first, how to create files? So here, defining and opening a file. So, if you want to store data in a file in the secondary memory, we do, we must do certain things about a file. Okay. So, first you need to file name, data structures, data type and purpose. So, for creating a file in the secondary memory, you need to have these three file name, data structures or data type and the purpose okay so let's see so first one is file name file name is a group of characters okay where every file name contains mainly three things okay so the first one is name of the file so file name is any valid identifier name okay so identifiers are nothing but the names used for variables, functions, arrays and files. Okay. So name of the file and dot operator, dot operator and next file extension, whether it is a text file or Java file or C file. Okay. So here the examples are sum. What is sum? Sum is the name of the file. Next dot is a operator and next file extension is C. So this is C file and next file name is A dot is operator txt. So it is a text file. Next sample dot Java. So it is a Java file. Okay. First you need to create one file. So in this way you can create the file. Okay. Next one is data structure so the first one is file name and the next one is data structure okay so what is a data structure so in c language files are defined by using predefined data structures predefined data types okay called file so this is a predefined data structure you need to include into the files files dot Sorry, files star ptr name. So, pointer name. So, here file star fp. So, here fp is a pointer variable which is used to store the address of another variable. Okay. Next, you need to define the data structure. Okay. And the last one is purpose. So, what is the purpose? Whether you are opening a file for reading purpose or writing purpose so when we open a file we must specify that what we want to do with the file like reading or writing or appending the data into the file okay so these are the purpose whether it is reading purpose or writing purpose okay you need to mention so let's see one syntax for opening a file in a c program so here following is the general format for declaring and opening a file. Okay. So file star fp. It is a data structure. Next 
एफ पी इज इक्वल टू एफ ओपन फाइल नेम कामा डबल्यू ओके सो इन द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इन द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट डिक्लेयर्स द वेरिएबल एफ पी एज ए पॉइंटर ओके सो वी आर डिक्लेयर्ड एफ पी एज अ पॉइंटर टू द डेटा टाइप फाइल एंड फाइल इज ए डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एफ पी इज ए पॉइंटर एंड फाइल इज ए डेटा स्ट्रक्चर विच कैन बी यूज ओनली बाई डिफाइनिंग एस टी डी आई वो डॉट हेच हेडर फाइल सो दिस स्टेटमेंट इज यूज फॉर डिफाइनिंग एस टी डी आई वो डॉट हेच हेडर फाइल सो एस टी डी आई वो मीन्स स्टैंडर्ड इनपुट आउटपुट डॉट हेडर फाइल सो इट कंटेन्स द डिक्लेशन एंड डेफिनेशन अबाउट द इनपुट एंड आउटपुट ऑपरेशंस सो इफ यू आर राइटिंग द डेटा इन टू द फाइल इट मीन्स रीडिंग सॉरी इट मीन्स इनपुट ओके सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीड द डेटा फ्रॉम द फाइल दैट मीन्स दैट इज द आउटपुट ओके सो यू नीड टू इंक्लूड द स्टैंडर्ड इनपुट आउटपुट हेडर फाइल इन टू द फाइल्स सो दैट्स वाई यू नीड टू इंक्लूड दिस फाइल स्टार एफ पी डेटा स्ट्रक्चर ओके द सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट वेर वी आर ओपनिंग ए फाइल by using f open function so this is the function which is used to open a file in the secondary memory okay so which contains two parameters those are file name okay and the next one is file open mode so here file name and w what is meant by w let's see so here file name refers the name of the file with any valid extension okay so dot txt dot c dot um, java okay dot html any valid extension next one is file mode okay so file mode refers the purpose of opening a file like read or write or append mode okay so the first one is r if you if you given r in the place of w that means you are opening a file for reading purpose okay so open a file for reading a file next one is w w means writing a file writing data into the file the next one is a open a file for appending data to the file okay next r plus so if you given r plus if file is already exist it open for both reading and writing purpose w plus also it is both for reading and writing purpose okay next a plus opens reading and appending purpose okay so these are the file opening modes okay so we have seen how to open a file so you need to follow this syntax first one is files star p and next one is fp is equals to f open that is file name and file open mode okay you need to include you need to follow this syntax okay next we are open a file for writing purpose next how to close one file one particular file so here a file must be closed as soon as all operations of a file is completed after completing all the operations of a file you need to close that file so this is done by using f close f open is used for opening a file and next f close is used to close a file so these are uh, these two are functions so these two functions are used to perform one specific task the task is opening a file and closing a file okay so here the syntax is f close f pointer name so i am closing fp file okay so in this way you can close the file and you can open the file okay so i hope it is clear the file concept so the first one is files next you need to define the files okay so if you want to open the files you need to follow this syntax next one if you want to close the file you need to follow this 
syntax okay so if you have any doubts regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section for more videos please share and subscribe my channel thank you